tell them my age, and then they say, I thought you were 25, 26. And who's telling you that? The guys. In a bar? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because they're trying to get in your bed. Well, Tough Love is a boot camp for women that have dating dysfunction, you can say. So I'm working with eight women that are all beautiful, quality women that have a lot to offer somebody, but are going about offering it the wrong way. And we're going to change your makeup, too. What? Yeah. I've been a professional matchmaker for more than six years. My mom's been doing this my whole life, so I guess you can say I've been in the business since I could ride a big wheel or wear a diaper. Very motherly, but a lot of potential. Everyone wants to be able to marry someone that's like their mom, but you never really start out like that. Women are far more complicated. I like to say that men think in black and white, and women use all the colors of the rainbow. So what do you... What? All right, let's talk about Jody. My feeling was kind of old divorcee. My word is beaten down, a lot of pain. I hope that they'll understand that men really aren't as bad as they think that they're a little bit more perceptive than they're usually giving credit for, and that they're going to basically decide very quickly upon meeting you whether or not they would take you seriously for a relationship. Because there's a lot of men out there that would have no problem sleeping with a woman, but they wouldn't ever take her seriously for a relationship. And I'm trying to teach these women to wield their own power and wield their own strength and to control the effect that they have on the men that they meet. Trashy, porn star. Yeah, I'd love to do her, I'm not gonna date her. Keep an eye on this. Here. He's standing right here. Pause. If that wasn't a get the hell away from me, I'm not interested look, I don't know what is. I think a lot of the women forget to put themselves in the shoes of the man. And a lot of them just want to be concerned about themselves and their own betterment from the experience. And it's good to be introspective, but you have to think about him and how is he going to perceive what you're doing. Why would you be so negative? Why wouldn't you thank the guy for paying you a compliment? I know I do that.